Good morning, world. It is Friday, the morning after Thrashing Thursday. This is some legit bedhead. And puffy eyes and the whole nine. My buddy Ryan came into town this week from Austin. I don't get to see him that much anymore. Um, but we grew up riding together. He was a BMX guy, the pretty much the only one in central Arkansas. And so he rode with us skateboarders. And we led him into our little pack. And he actually turned out to be a huge inspiration in my skateboarding. Mainly because, you know, being in Arkansas, the, the bar has a, you know, a pretty minimal height, you know, there's not a big scene here. And so once you get to that upper echelon, you know, there's really no one else to compete with, you know, other than a magazine. And that, that seems so unreal that it's not as easy to aspire to those heights. Whereas Ryan was grinding handrails on his, on his bike. He was just pushing so far out that I tried to keep up with him instead of worrying about other skateboarders. And that was like skating on steroids, you know, because bikers are, they do crazy, crazy things. And he was just that kind of personality anyway to where take a slam, get up, try again, you know. And so he was instrumental in me developing that balls out attitude towards skateboarding which ultimately led to a career being a psychopath so thanks Ryan and now Ryan builds ramps for the X Games and for huge skateboarding contests and bike contests around the world and so not only was it cool to to have him come and and ride the treehouse to, you know, obviously my work is nothing compared to what this guy does. I mean, he is a true artist in the field of, of wood. It's amazing. I know that's not really close, but even coming over, I feel like, you know, not like right here. You know, so I wanted to show off what I had done, you know. And plus, no one, a biker has not ridden the treehouse yet, mainly because it's small and tight, and I was amazed that he was able to do what he did, especially considering he too is in his 40s, like me. Again, the, the, the ramp wasn't meant for bikes, and it's not, uh, you know, you could tell. Like when he rode, when he hit this wall, stuff would fly off the shelf in the wood shop. Uh, it just was, you know, there's a lot more okay. momentum for bikes. And that momentum took him straight through the deck. <laughs> I, you know, wasn't a, a, luckily he didn't get hurt or didn't get cut on a screw or something ridiculous like that. But it was really easy to fix. I went ahead and, and fixed that yesterday afternoon. And then um, one of our team riders, Joshua, had, had a birthday yesterday. So I went down and met up with those guys at Riverview and had a little birthday session with those guys. And it's been a couple of weeks since I skated. Yoga has really monopolized my life as of late. It's the focus. But it was nice to get back to skateboarding. All parts except for the falling down. And I didn't even take a slam yesterday really, but just, I'm, in yoga I'm so used to not falling. Or if I do, it's more rolling out of a arm balance. And so, it's just, what was I thinking as a teenager? Why did I choose something that was so harsh and brutal? I don't know. Um, but I, I, I can't leave her behind either. So I'll continue to skateboard, but I'm trying really hard to just scale it back. You know, breaks, breaks, breaks. No more slamming. And now I am uh, going to go take a dip in the pool and try and wake up and see if I can motivate my mom to go on our uh, Friday hike. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You're trying to ollie me. But then that's ollie.